Brian here for quantlabs.net, putting out a stream here on Facebook and eventually makes his way onto YouTube. Something of very big interest here uh, that once again lit up my Facebook group uh, was an article on getting research jobs now in quant funds or in finance generally. It's totally changed. Um, you no longer need these big WYSIWYG uh, PhDs. Um, it's a huge trend now uh, from somebody who's very credible. Uh, I'm going to go through the article and critique it uh, and give you my own opinion on it. As you know, uh, I've been working a lot with the Forex stuff, crypto stuff. Crypto is right now uh, very active. Um, but if you are interested, you can always come over to the Quant Labs uh, trading. Uh, let me just pull it up here on my computer right here. A second here. So right here, all I got to do is just look up uh, quantlabs.net slash trading. Uh, that will give you access to the new quant analytics that's being worked on right now. Um, I've just put up the, um, or not yet, but the MetaTrader uh, Expert Advisor has been debuted on YouTube uh, this morning. So if you want it, uh, get in on it. We will be raising the price 50% very clo closely. Uh, okay, let's go back to this article here. For those that are on the um, podcast the there is always a video version of this equivalent on uh, the YouTube. Just type in the name of the same as the podcast title. You will get uh, the video version of that. Anyway, so here's the article found at efinancialcareers.com. Title of the article is Why Quant Jobs in Finance No Longer Need Finance. So let's read this. The world is changing for quantitative researchers. I had yet again another person asking about it in finance. No long, not long ago, they actually needed to know something about financial services. These days, they just got to be quote unquote quants. So if you've seen my video on what real quant looks like, this is the author um, that I'm going to mention here. I put up a video on his actual original book, which is his PhD thesis. Uh, it will show you the heavy uh, formulas in there for math. So here, that same guy, uh, uh, Marcos Lopez de Prado, probably my pronunciation is bad, former head of machine learning at Hedge Fund AQR Capital Research, currently professor of machine learning at Cornell, speaking at this week's AI data search and tr uh, training conference in London. Lopez uh, de Prado said, nature of quantitative research in finance is changing as uh, market participants stop employing their own quants and start crowdsourcing the quant research needs instead. Let me repeat that. So they're no longer hiring PhDs. They're doing these crowdsourcing competitions to get the quant search they need. This is how it works. Under the old paradigm, investment managers each hired their own silo teams of researchers with specific finance knowledge. However, uh, these in-house teams were hard to staff. Very few quants combined the domain knowledge of quant expertise necessary to tackle finance data sets. Consequently, many complex investment investments were not arbitrage or exploited. Uh, pointing out that only uh, 0.65 articles in key economic journals contain terms related to artificial intelligence. Right here. So what they do is um, they off, the data is obfuscated. I can never say that. Uh, in other words, crowdsourced quants compete to find patterns in financial data, even though they have no idea what the actual data refers to. You don't know that the data refers to IBM or column in a PE ratio. It's all about looking for patterns, and data could just as easily refer to migratory birds as stock tickers. This is bad news for quant researchers, uh, but the implication of the steady job for finance-specific quantitative researchers who commanded premium be virtue to their domain knowledge are being eroded by an army of cheap, here we go, cheap generalist quants. 
sitting in their bedrooms and looking for patterns in generic data. So essentially what that means is when you go out, you learn your quantitate up uh, your uh, platforms like Quantopia, uh, Quantopian and whatever else, QuantConnect, uh, they, they, it cheapens your ability to, uh, on the salary side. So a lot of funds now refer on people like this to get the research done. Uh, so this is what they call them. Instead of drawing a salary and receiving a bonus, uh, these new quote unquote bedroom quants, bedroom quants are driven by a prospect of winning individual prizes for accurate forecasts. The reward is the payout for the week. Using examples of Numerai, a uh, crowdsourced hedge fund, same as um, Quantopian, which works on the basis that 40,000 crowdsourced data scientists know best. Numerai offers a regular but answer for competitors with the most accurate predictions. Funds using the tournament method save times over. They don't cut spending on employment costs but the cost of hardware and office space too. More people will realize the old silo approach is not scalable and the advantages of crowdsourcing are offset by the disadvantages. We are going to see crowdsourcing more prevalent in quantitative research. This is what he's predicting. Sounds ominous we currently have a quant job on the buy side. Yikes. So that's what's going on. Um, and more and more people are piling in to get in on the action as well. Thought I'd put that out there again. That can be found over at E Financial Careers. Uh, title again is Why Quant Jobs in Finance No Longer Need Finance Knowledge. Talk to you later.